Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. It's another paid request, this time from Walker. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, whether it be a topic, a reaction, a commentary, playing a video game for an hour, or a full playthrough, uh, movie review, or re review, whatever the case may be, I'll get to it as soon as I can. And for those who have sent it, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, Walter has another request for another reaction to a list he made his ranking of the Chucky and Freddy Nightmare on the Street movies now he says I figured since my Chucky raid well his but this is his words I figured since my Chucky ranking has changed since last time I requested it I would just combine it with my Freddy ranking read notes and parentheses so let me read his from, I guess, the Chucky and Elm Street films combined, this is his ranking. 17, Seed of Chucky. 16, number, oh, Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. 15, Freddy's Dead. 14, Elm Street Remake. Not as bad as people say, but should have been so much better. I watched it on my 11th birthday, thinking it was the original, and so I have nostalgia for the first half of the movie because it was so creepy. Well, again, I mean... I disagree. Well, when you when he says that, I gotta think. You know, people have different life experiences. If you're 11 years old and you've never seen the original Elm Street, and so this is the first time you're watching it, so you're seeing these things, these ideas that, granted, just copy the original. But for him, it's the first time. I can understand that. I can understand to the point of. Although nowadays I like to stay from New York better. For many years I would say I like to stay from L.A. better because the stay from L.A. was the first one I saw. And I still like to stay from L.A. I do. I still like that film. But as years have come along, the original I liked a lot. And I remember thinking, oh, it's Steve from New York. I liked it, but it's so similar. But I'm like, well, yeah, because it's Steve from L.A. Just top it a lot of Steve from New York. That's not New York's fault. <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, there's a time where Steve from L.A. I would say I like more, but as time went on, I'm like, no, it's Steve from New York, I like the more grit, I like the more down and dirty look to it, I like the way New York looks better than the way L.A. looks in the sequel. Although, again, so at the end of the day, maybe how the 11-year-old, I have a bit of nostalgia for Steve from L.A., but, again... Stephen New York to like more, but I can understand maybe if that's where he's coming from. Nostalgia, I definitely know how that goes, so there you go. But that's his number 14. Number 13, Elm Street 2. Number 12, Elm Street 4. From here up are movies I like quite a bit. Uh, oh, 12. Number 11, Cult of Chucky. Number 10, New Nightmare. Number 9, Child's Play Remake. Number 8, Child's Play Original. Number 7, Bride of Chucky. Number 6, Curse of Chucky. Number 5, Freddy vs. Jason. Number 4, Child's Play 3. Number 3, Child's Play 2. Number 1, Elm Street Dream Warriors. And number 1, Elm Street The Original. So, Elm Street 1 and Elm Street 3. Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3. And then Freddy vs. Jason are top five his top five not a bad top five I mean I really like Child's Play 2 and 3 I really like Dream Warriors I do like the original Elm Street so that's not a bad top five the first one being the top spot I think a lot of people would agree with you on that Sita Chucky being at the bottom I mean, that I don't mind because I don't like Cedar Chucky. Dream Child, I'm not a big fan of, so that being low, I, I don't blame you. Elm Street Remake is still pretty low, although I'd rather watch Freddy's Dead than the Elm Street Remake. I mean, I guess like Freddy vs. Jason for me would not be so high. It was a fun theater experience, but I have too many issues with the film. I do like Robert England as Freddy. I think the look of the film is definitely a slick production. 
but I don't like the way Jason looks. I don't like the way Jason is dressed. I don't like how a lengthy motherfucker he is because they want to do the Frankenstein monster and be so much taller compared to Robert England. I get that, but I just don't, don't like the way he moves. Don't like the way he looks. I don't like how the mask is like the proportions. It just looks funky and, and goofy to me. The way they handled him being afraid of drowning, I get the psychology, but the way they handled it just made him look silly. And I hate the human characters in that film, I do. So I like Freddy vs. Jason for its style, its production. Uh, they had a bit more money to play with compared to other entries of those films. And I think Robin England's having a ball. And it's definitely got some nice gore in it. It's a fun fight at the end. So I, I don't hate Freddy vs. I, I like Freddy vs. Jason. It's a fun film. It's just there's other films I like more than that. Curse Bride of Chucky. I never understood the love curse of Chucky had. Bride of Chucky, I can understand a little bit. I used to not mind the film, but watching it, it's just so silly and goofy. It's just not for me. But Curse, I don't understand. I don't think there's anything worth a shit in that movie. At best, maybe you just say the lead perform performance by Brad Dourif's daughter, but that wasn't enough for me to save the film. I thought the setting was very boring. Just this empty house in the middle of nowhere. I thought the supporting cast were all just unlikable douchebag twat waffles. I thought the kills were lame with some really bad CGI. I thought Chucky looked cheap and all of his incarnations in that. You have a scene evolving chili that felt like it went on for 20 minutes. Oh my god, so don't eat the chili? I don't give a rat's ass if you all eat the chili and die and then the movie could be over. I thought the ending was really lame. I just, I don't think the film was scary. I don't think it was suspenseful. I thought it was just boring as hell for a direct -to video film. I don't understand the praise that film gets, but teach their own. I think it sucks. Bride of Chucky, I did understand a bit more. The original, the remake, I do like those. New Nightmare, I do quite like. I'm sorry, I do not think a cult of Chucky is better than Elm Street for the Dream Master. From Lisa Wilcox and Alice character, the imaginative imaginative dream sequences like the roach scene and the, the amount of energy and creative juices flowing in that film what does Colt the Chucky do better than Elm Street 4? that would be my question what is in Colt the Chucky or Curse of Chucky both those films what is entailed in both of those films that make them better than Elm Street 4? I'd be very curious because Elm Street 4 I think has a better cast has a better lead character, has more inventive death scenes, has more creative style and energy directed by Rennie Harlan, has a better soundtrack, better music, better score. So I, I don't see it, but I don't get it, but teach their own. I mean, I don't know what my ranking would be. I just know that Curse and Cult of Chucky would be way down on the list in the bottom five. In fact, I'd rather watch Elm Street 5 than Curse and Cult of Chucky. I really would. The Dream Child, I'd rather watch that than Curse or Cult. I'd rather watch that than the Elm Street remake. So, Elm Street 2 and 4, I would put higher for me. Bride, Cult, Curse, Fravor Jason, I would put lower. Nice to see Child's Play 2 and 3 up so high. That's cool. Dream Warriors. Can't argue that. That's a great one. The original I do quite enjoy. So, yeah. That's a pretty cool top 5. Right, it's the really only disagreement I have is the placement of Elm Street 4 on the list. I think that should be much higher and Curse and Cult should be much lower. But that'd be my ranking. That's not his ranking. So, as he put it, I did with the Elm Street remake. He saw on his 11th birthday, think he was the original, have a nostalgia for the first half. I mean, maybe for an 11-year-old, the first half of that film would be creepy. I'm in a different perspective because I saw that film, that was 2010, so I would have been... Uh... 27... 
Yeah, I would have been 27 years old when I saw that. A 27-year-old's thought on that is going to be a lot different than an 11-year-old's thought. So you chalk it up to that. So that's fair. That's very fair to say. And eh, either way, like I said, I mean, Elm Street films are probably my favorite fran horror franchise. I like Friday, Friday the 13th a lot. But Elm Street is what I grew up with. Those are my childhood. My horror franchise that was my childhood was Elm Street. One, two, three, four, I watched a lot when I was a kid. It was three on one tape, and then the second videotape had four, five, and six, so I watched four a lot. It was at the beginning of the tape. And maybe I'd, you know, skip through five and go to watch six. Because I like Freddy's Dead. It's That's goofy, but I thought that was more fun than what I saw in some of those bride seed of Chucky movies. So I know those that's goofy as well, but I just had more fun. I just laughed more. I was more entertained for a variety of reasons. I routing was performance I really enjoyed and I liked the as goofy as they were, I liked the dream sequences. I liked the slick style production involving airplanes or video games or Yaffa Cold, it was great to see him in there. May he rest in peace. I like the soundtrack. I like the doo doo dolls. I'm away now. <laughs> but, uh. Hey, maybe like for him and Elm Street remake nostalgia, Freddy's Dead is nostalgia to me. So maybe that's the same ballpark we. And everybody has that. Those movies that you enjoy as a kid. And maybe people understandably could mock for a lot of good reasons, but. There's uh, something about it that you join a certain age that you in, you're more forgiven of its faults than other people would. That happens. That's everybody. Everybody has those movies. <laughs> so take that for you, will. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks once again, Walter, for your generosity. You've always been very uh, to repeat myself generous for your request. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. You all, I mean, you were in the stream. You are very generous on that. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it, man. And uh, we will see you guys later. Bye-bye for now.